Today, Sierra is going to uh, talk about the Anogida, uh, Ace-bound Anogida Soda. Before Ace-bound Anogida Soda, Sierra, we uh, continue a little bit about the Medda, uh, which, is, uh, which was Ace-bounded for yogis who are practicing intensively here. In order to protect the external distractions, uh, external disturbances, so, and also uh, to be supportive, supportive to the Megaphala enlightenment. So the 500 monks, they develop metta and uh, they can successfully uh, develop mindfulness until they became fully enlightened and uh, liberated out of suffering. So yesterday time was uh, limited, so could not explain very detail about the, uh, the 528 metta and also the 11 benefits. So Sierra would like to a little bit explain about the uh, 522, how we count 522 kinds of metta and uh, how we count the 11 benefits we can gain from uh, meta developments. And then Sierra we uh, expound the Anogahita Soda, the supportive condition to the Vipassana meditation. So Medha loving kindness is um, a great kind of the wholesome deeds. One of the 10 noble deeds. So we call parami, 10 kinds of perfections, or the, the noble deed uh, accumulated by the noble people. So Medha literally means the, the wishing other people to be happy and uh, peaceful. And uh, it is a very supportive to the higher uh, development or insight. And the uh, literal meaning of Medha, uh, Parami is uh, Paramana Kama Parami. So the, the deed uh, that are done by noble people, that the literal meaning of the Parami. So Medha practice is uh, one of the uh, noble deeds or the deeds done by the noble people. So the purpose or the benefits of the meta practice is uh, to uh, protect ourselves from several kinds of danger and uh, disasters and uh, to accomplish our purpose uh, successfully and uh, smoothly in the worldly or secular or the spiritual, spiritual field. So meta is uh, very supportive to any kinds of accomplishment in secular life or the spiritual life. So the Buddha himself successfully uh, practiced meditation and uh, he established this uh, holy order called sasana or the kind of the uh, meditation, meditation center with the purpose to help the all living beings realize the, the truth, the Dharma. So in the universe there are all living beings uh, suffering. By practicing Dharma, they all can be liberated out of the cycle of suffering. So now the 500 monks, they were practicing meditation, especially they developed the contemplation of the body in the forest center. Uh, their practice is uh, noble and uh, sublime, uh, but uh, they, are <coughs> they were disturbed by the external uh, disturbances. But they didn't easily give up. They, they were not disappointed easily. They went back to the Buddha and uh, get, got the guidance and uh, the practice uh, metta, loving kindness, and uh, finally they accomplished their purpose and they became fully enlightened at heart. 
So the Buddha is the uh, greatest guidance teacher on earth. He guided us to behave uh, with the middha, mentally, physically, verbally, uh, with the loving kindness. We should be behaved. We should behave. So according to Buddha's guidance, and uh, here meditation center, the yogi are uh, practicing vipassana uh, at the same time developing uh, loving kindness. So from several aspects, the loving kindness is uh, supportive to the practice of the yogis. So the, in, in the Inkotara Nigaya, uh, there is a, a soda which mentions the evidence of the uh, Midda, evidence of a person who practiced Midda for seven years and uh, was reborn as a uh, Brahma in the highest level of the universe. And then uh, he reborn as a result of Midda, he reborn in the celestial realm several times. And uh, finally, he, he was reborn as a universe uh, monarch uh, on this planet. So this is uh, the evidence of the benefit of Medha. So the by practicing Medha, developing love and kindness, uh, we are uh, definitely become the tranquil and uh, peaceful. And uh, by practicing Medha, we can uh, practice successfully the Vipassana meditation and uh, can cross the sansara, the sangha or suffering when we are fully enlightened. So these are benefits of Medha. And the 11 kinds of benefits of Medha are mentioned in the Inkotara Nikaya. So Sierra is found a little bit yesterday. Now Sierra would like to continue. Uh, 11 kinds of metta. So the, among the 11 kinds of benefits, the first one is uh, Sukha Subhati in Pali. If we develop metta, we can have sound sleep. There are many people who don't have a nice and a sound sleep. And it is mentioned in the Pali text, without metta, people fall asleep and then they snore. They are likely to snore very loud. And then their physical position is chaotic. And then when we practice metta and fall asleep, uh, our physical position is uh, very tranquil and uh, peaceful and uh, without snoring. And like the someone who who is absorbed in the uh, meditation, uh, jhanic absorption. Actually, not only metta, but also many other meditation practices can help us to have sound sleep, like recollection of the Buddha, or development of mindfulness, and so on. Or, so the, according to Bhisauri Mega, to have a sound sleep, we can also develop many other kinds of meditation. So second benefit is uh, Sukham Pati Bhojati. When we wake up, we wake up uh, happily and uh, peacefully. Unless we develop metta, uh, we, cannot, we may not wake up uh, the peacefully, or we may wake up the, or we may roll out of the bed with the worry and anxiety. If we develop metta, when we wake up, we are awakened like a, the lotus flower. Uh, we awaken beautifully and uh, happily. So the third benefit we can gain from metta is uh, in Pali, na papakan supina pasati. So we won't have the uh, nightmare, the bad dream. So there is a good dream and a nightmare. In the good dream, uh, we can see, uh, we can dream of the being respect to the 
to the pagoda or practicing meditation or listening to Dhamma talk or something like this, something wholesome and something pleasant we can experience in the dream. And uh, unless we develop metta, uh, and then we may encounter nightmare in which we maybe we may be chased by the enemies or the by the wild beast like the uh, tiger or lion or something like this. So if we want to have the beautiful dream, uh, we should develop the loving kindness. So the fourth benefit is uh, Manosanam Piyohodi. So we are loved by the people. So it is said in the Pali text, so we are loved by the people like a, uh, we are cherished by the people like their necklace or the, the flower in their head. So mostly people, they really cherish their necklace or the jewelry and uh, the flower in their head. So in the same way, we are loved and cherished by the people if we develop loving kindness. The fifth benefit is Manosanam Piyo Hodi. Amanosanam Piyo Hodi. So we are loved by the, we are loved and cherished by the, the invisible beings. So there are beings who are invisible to us. So only when they manifest themselves, uh, they become visible for us. So they are like ghosts and uh, celestial beings and uh, spirits. So they are invisible. So some, some of them are good, some are not good. But uh, good or bad, they all love us when we develop metta. So here is a story uh, Sierra mentioned. Uh, one of the the men, he the monk he ordained in India, and uh, he went to the Sri Lanka and uh, practiced meditation in the forest. So on his way to the forest, one day he lost, and uh, he didn't know where to go in the deep forest. Then he uh, recollected his uh, virtue and uh, morality, and keep very pure morality. Uh, so the thanks to, uh, thanks to morality, uh, may I find the correct way. Then the deva, the guardian deva appeared and uh, showed him the right path, the right way. And then he went to that forest and uh, practiced meditation. Uh, he developed metta uh, for the whole rain retreats. So his name is called Visakha. So before he practiced uh, metta meditation in the, in the forest, uh, there are deva and uh, sabiris. They, uh, they, they didn't live in harmony. They are sometimes they were fighting and uh, arguing and uh, they are hostile to each other. When the Visakha, the Venerable Visakha developed Metta, sent uh, his uh, loving kindness to Devas and uh, Sapiris, so they all uh, live in harmony and uh, in peace, and uh, they love each other, they no longer hostile to each other. So in this way, the, thanks to Metta, the people and the devas and the human being and the devas and deity, uh, they live in peace and harmony without hostility. So this is uh, the evidence of the Middha's benefits. So Middha is uh, the very powerful mental state uh, which makes us to be uh, lovable to, to the as uh, invisible living beings. So Venerable Visakha, he spent a uh, four month rain retreat in, in that place. So after rain retreat, he thought about moving somewhere. Then he, he overheard someone uh, crying uh, in his doorstep. So he asked, who is uh, crying? 
Then, as he heard someone replied, it is me, uh, my name is uh, Mani Mala. I am guardian devas in this tree nearby. Then why are you crying here? Uh, because I know you are living. Oh, that's why I am crying, crying. Then the Venerable Visaka asked, uh, is there anything special about my stay here? Is there any benefit to you from my stay here? Then he said, oh yes, Venerable Sir, we separate and uh, devas and uh, deity here are very arrogant. They treat each other quite badly. They are hostile to each other. Uh, when you, you are here, and you develop metta, so we all become love each other and we treat us each other uh, nicely and we live in peace and harmony. So now you are living. When you leave this place, uh, we will become definitely hostile each other and uh, we, it will be very difficult for us to live in peace and harmony. So that's why I was so sad that you are living here. So I, he said, I humbly request you to, be, to stay um, longer. In this way, the Venerable Visaka stayed there uh, until he, he, he died. These are benefits uh, we can gain from Medha. So to live in peace and harmony on earth, we need to develop metta. Uh, by developing metta, we can live a peaceful and a happy life. So number seven benefits is um, we can be free from the several kinds of danger and disasters like the, uh, the fire and a flood and um, poison and a weapon and so on. So as a evidence, there is a story of the Otara. She, she, bring, she brought in the a woman named Sirima as a concubine, as a take care of her husband, which, because she wanted to do something wholesome deed freely. So later, the Sirima, she, she became jealous of the Otara. And then she tried to pour the wine oil onto the Otara head. When she carried the wine uh, oil to Otara, the Otara saw her uh, carrying the the boy oil, so she sent Meta to her. Thanks to the Sirima, I got a chance to do uh, meritorious deeds. So recollecting gratitude, uh, arousing the sense of gratitude toward Otara, uh, she sent Meta to the Otara. And also she, uh, she make wish uh, may, because of the truth, I say, may the the wine and uh, heart, the heated oil, be become peaceful. So the thanks to the meta and um, the the truthfulness, the wine oil became to became uh, uh, calm down and uh, nothing harm to her, harmful to her. So this is uh, the evidence of the benefit of Meta uh, that can protect us from the danger and a disaster like the poison and a weapon. And there are many others evidence of the benefit of Meta regarding the freedom from the, the poison and a, the weapon, and uh, one of some of them is uh, Sankisa, Sankaja uh, Sula 
he was free from the, the poisonous snake. And uh, another uh, evidence is uh, Sankacha, Venerable Sankacha. Uh, Sankacha, he is uh, uh, also free from several kinds of danger. And uh, Sankacha, he was uh, cut with a sword by the enemies, but uh, the sword could not get into the flesh of the Sankacha, Venerable Sankacha because of the, his uh, middha, loving kindness. And another evidence is uh, the cow uh, who was, uh, that was feeding milk to, to a <coughs> calf with the loving kindness. So at that moment, a hunter, uh, he, uh, he disappeared with the uh, he cut with the sapphire, the, the cow, but the, the knife or sword could not get into the, uh, the cow because of the loving kindness to uh, his calf, calf. Of course, the cow cannot say, cannot recite, uh, may all living beings be well and happy and so on. But uh, in his heart, in his heart, uh, there was uh, pure loving kindness toward her, her baby calf. So because of that loving kindness, uh, the sword or the sapphire cannot penetrate into, into her flesh. So this is uh, evidence that Medha, because of the Medha, any kinds of the weapon cannot harm to us. So number nine is Mukha Veno Vipasiddhati. By developing loving kindness, our facial expression become lovable and uh, peaceful. And uh, it's compared to a palm tree, uh, the fruit from falling down from the palm tree. The moment the fruit falling from the palm tree, the fruit is uh, very uh, clean and uh, brighten. Uh, in the tropical region, there is a palm tree. The, when the fruit fall down, it's, the fruit is uh, very clean and uh, brighten. So in the same way, if we develop meta, our facial expression is uh, very lovable and uh, peaceful. So if we want to have beautiful face, uh, we should develop meta. So the last benefit, or number 10 benefit, is uh, peaceful demise, peaceful death. So on our last moment, uh, on our deathbed, so we won't be confused and uh, uh, crying in panic. Uh, we can leave the world peacefully. So the, if there are people who never practice meta when they die, they, they die in panic. So if we want to have a peaceful demise, we should develop meta. So the last benefit is Odari Abdi Vaisando Parama Logu Bhago. Even if we are fully enlightened, uh, even, unless, even unless we are fully enlightened, at least we can be reborn in the Brahma, Brahma realm, Brahma world. And uh, if we develop metta, uh, we can develop until we attain a certain level of concentration and jhanic. And uh, when we die, we can be reborn in the Brahma world, the higher planes, higher plane. The, here are the yogis. Uh, uh, advice by the Buddhas to develop metta so that uh, yogi can practice meditation peacefully and uh, successfully 
And then finally, at least, even though you are not fully enlightened, you can be reborn in the Brahma world. So there are 11 kinds of the, uh, uh, 11 categories, 12. 11, oh, 12 categories, objects for us to send loving kindness. First of all, five individuals, or five categories to send metta, or that's a, what is called general metta, general loving kindness to send our love and wishes to all living beings in general. So first of all, Sabe Sada, all living beings uh, who are breathed in and out. Uh, and uh, Sabe Pana, all living beings who are breathed in and out. And uh, Sabe Buddha, all living beings who have the physical body. And uh, Sabe Bogala, all living beings who uh, exist in mind and body. And uh, Sabi Adabawa Briyapana, all living beings who has uh, psychophysical phenomena. And in this way, we have five, uh, uh, five uh, categories to send Medha, Sabi Sada, Sabi Pana, Sabi Buddha, Sabi Bogala, Sabi Adabawa Briyapana. So these are all synonyms. They refer to all living beings in general. Uh, we send all living beings uh, loving kindness. And as an individual metta, we send uh, seven kinds of the individual individuals. First of all, the sabha ATO to all women or to all female beings. And then number two is uh, to all male beings. And number three is uh, to all noble people, enlightened people. Number four is uh, to unenlightened people or ordinary people. Number five is uh, all devas and all deities. Number six is all human beings. Number seven is uh, all uh, Winnipada spirits. All together, we have seven kinds of individuals to send our love and our wishes. And as five kinds of the general uh, living beings and as seven kinds of individual, all together we have 12 kinds of the uh, meta objects. So we send our, our wishes to all the 12 objects. Uh, in four, four wishes to each twelve. Awira Hundu, may they be free from enmity. Abya Paja Hundu, may they be free from mental suffering. Aniga Hundu, may they be free from physical suffering. Suki Adanam Priharandu, may they be. Uh, able to take care of themselves happily and uh, peacefully. So all together we have four wishes to send to 12 individuals. So 12 individuals uh, multiplying by four wishes, we have uh, 48 uh, meta, 48 kinds of meta. So then we think our wishes to 48 uh, kinds of the uh, living beings in the 10 directions. So in the east, in the, in the west, in the north, in the south, and the southeast, southwest, northeast, and northwest, and then uh, below and above. All together, 10 directions. We send our love and our wishes, four kinds of wishes, to 12 beings in, in the 10 directions. So the 48 objects multiplying by 10 directions, we got 480 meta, 480 kinds of love and kindness. And then without mentioning the directions, we have 48, uh, playing 48, 
and uh, with the direction, 10 directions, we have 480. So all together we have 528. Uh, this 528 is uh, known as uh, uh, meter. So now Sierra would like to uh, continue the the supported condition for vipassana practice. There are supported conditions to develop vipassana smoothly and uh, successfully. The, the first one is uh, sila nokhita, as we have to undertake uh, precepts as a supported condition for vipassana development. And then the second one is uh, sutta nokhita. Uh, we need to listen to the Dhamma talk uh, so that we can have deeper understanding of the Dhamma. It is also a supportive condi condition for the successful practice of Vipassana. And then number three is uh, Sakacha Nogida. It is a Dhamma discussion like question and answer. So this, uh, through the Dhamma discussion we can overcome confusion. So this is uh, also number four supported condition for smooth and uh, successful vipassana practice. And then number number four is uh, samatha nokhita. So the samatha meditation is also very sub supportive to the vipassana practice. The the last one is uh, vipassana nokhita. So we have to develop a higher level of vipassana insight uh, so that the, the vipassana is, uh, can be accomplished. So all together we have uh, the five supportive conditions. So they are, are very important for us to understand so that we can practice uh, vipassana meditation successfully. Uh, Sierra, we continue uh, with these uh, conditions tomorrow. Uh, that's for, for today.